We're gonna cover how to modify exercises today, and this, and this one's gonna be a, a bent over barbell row. We're gonna use a stick as a simulation for the barbell, and we'll probably use a little bit of a dumbbell too. And so people tend to have back pain associated with this exercise pretty commonly. And so um, we figure out just how to help you guys out. Yeah, we have what some good tension cues for this specific mm. exercise that usually mitigates that back pain for you. Tension cues. Yeah, so uh, one thing too just to consider is that usually when they have that back pain, uh, when they're, go ahead and uh, give, me a, give, me a, uh, give me a hip hinge. Show me a hip hinge. Come this way. There you go. Good. So usually when we have the hip hinge in play with the bent over barbell row, it's important to note that if this kind of sags a little bit, then it's going to really hurt there. Um, but if she keeps a nice perked position, that's going to be probably one of the easiest wins of all because it really allows um, tension around the spine right here. So go ahead and relax. All right, so why don't we just pick this barbell? Let's go straight from it and uh, go ahead and stand from it. Okay. All right, that's your barbell. Sweet. And I'm going to let you do the dumbbell one. We might have to actually, uh, looks like we need a little space here. Okay, let's see if we can scroll this thing back. All right, cool. Sorry, everyone, no camera crowd today. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and show me a, 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 a bent over barbell row. So, good. So, Don has an overhand grip with this. Go ahead and keep going with that, okay? And so, we're going to pan down to the bottom here in, in a moment, but the first thing we can do to really improve her tension is. We're gonna actually try to engage her lats. Okay, go ahead and pull up again. Pull up. Yep. And so right here, so she's driving into this pocket, which is good, but she's gonna actually get a little bit better tension, at least in this, so again, we're modifying. We're gonna flip the hands over into a supinated palm up position. And now I want you to go ahead and look over that cliff for me and go ahead and pull back. Try to get that into that pocket right there. Good, and go ahead and slide it on down, slide it on down, slide it on down, good. Go ahead and go again. And so she's keeping this on her leg on the tracks. Now, one common mistake though, when they're doing this is a lot of times is they'll bend the knees and uh, I, I need to pan down a little bit. Let's see if we can get a little bit more of you done. And so if you take a look at the knees, go ahead and squat for me a little bit. And so this is no longer a bent over barbell row. This is just something else. And so go ahead and stand again. So we're gonna find this hip hinging position and then pull the pocket. That's one of the easiest wins. Um, go ahead and put this down. One thing that you could probably, we can probably use as a, as a way to find the hinge. You know this one? Mm. Good. And so go ahead and step back here. We've got a, we've got a distance issue today. Okay. Good. Go ahead. Good. And up. And down. Good. And so, Don, you ever gone skiing? Just snowboarding. Snowboarding, so, okay, so this is more of a skiing thing. Um, but if she slaps the thighs on the way down, this is usually a pretty easy way to find a good hip hinge position, then she can pull from there. What do you want to add? Cool, stick it in the barbell? Yeah, we can stick to the barbell for now. Awesome, so I really like that one. That different uh, hinge is good, but also um, pull into the pockets and that reverse grip is amazing. One of the things that we like to do with low back pain, no matter whether it's an upper body movement or a lower body movement, is creating tension through the floor, through the feet, to turn the glutes on. The glutes are gonna protect your low back throughout this, especially as you move away. You have a tendency to wanna to dump, okay? So we're gonna make sure we're protecting your low back by still turning on glutes, although this is an upper body movement, okay? So with this, what I'm gonna say is, Seb, there's a seam in the floor between your feet. So what I said is, Create, the, create it for me, there you go, just like that. So there's a full seam right in between his feet here, okay? And he's gonna try to break the seam apart. So he's going to grip the floor with his feet, okay? Kind of like he's stuck in the sand at the beach, can't really go anywhere, gecko feet. And he's gonna try to twist and tear the floor apart this way. That will turn your booty on and protect your low back. If you keep that tension and do your row, you'll probably notice a huge difference with your low back. Yeah, there. actually my butt's tired. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's kind of what we want. Yeah, it, and it's going to seem really silly to do all these effortful things when we're just trying to do bent over barbell rows, but if, if the bent over barbell row bothers you, then the, one of the easiest things is, number one, you can stop doing it, which people don't like to hear that. But if you want to modify it slightly, at least until the back pain settles itself, these are easy things to do. I'm even out of breath just from doing the floor ripping because mm -hmm. it's pretty intense. Um, but, but at least when you're weightlifting, if you're doing heavy weight, you got to be more fixed and solid 
than the weight is, or else mm -hmm. the weight will move you, and then you're gonna end up with a problem. You'll notice you won't even have to do as much weight and to feel that much of an effort if yeah. you just use those tension cues that we're talking about. Yeah, and a lot of times people with the barbell, so uh, we can change over to a, a dumbbell or a kettlebell next, but but the barbell is kind of cumbersome to a lot of people and kind of was saying that the barbell is fairly unforgiving. Um, it kind of puts your wrist where it wants to. It puts your body where it wants to. And so rather than have to fight the barbell and get it into a certain position, we can use something like dumbbells. So, you want that? Good. Right there, good. Hips back, good. Don't let those barbells leave your knees, or don't let them leave your thighs. Go ahead and pull it all the way up to the, there you go. So she's able to go to her side pocket now versus the front part of her pocket. So she's getting right into this area right there. Get it to touch that every single time. There you go. And she's making a little bit of a J movement with, with, her, uh, with her wrist. There we go. You feel that even more, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I do. So big, big J, let it swing. Big J, let it swing. And now if she wants to really develop more tension again, we, we, we can use that spreading cue that she had on the floor as well. Go ahead and relax. I feel like that almost makes it easier for me to pull once I do that spreading cue with my feet. Yeah, that's cool. It makes the, the weight a little bit lighter. Yeah. So those are the easy things to do, at least with a bent over barbell row, whether a barbell or modified to, um, uh, shit, I forget they're called. Dumbbells. Dumbbells. <laughs> dumb, if I don't remember what a dumbbell is. By the way, does a dumbbell have two Bs or one? Dumb bell. I think I spell it with one. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know what the true spelling is. I'm not sure either. <laughs> cool. So if you guys are um, wondering why that kind of stuff works or if you want to know more about how to modify certain exercises for uh, working around low back pain and being able to get rid of low back pain with stuff like this, um, just go to our little linky thing somewhere, the little red circle, and uh, that'll take you to the channel. You can do a little search throughout there. Right on. Cool. And we also are open right now for in this time that we can come and see you in clinic. You have low back pain. Some of these cues may work for you or they're not working for you. You need to know why. Maybe we need to reverse a little bit and see what's going on there in your low back first and then introduce these exercises back in. But we can see you in office or we can see you virtually if that's something that you're interested in. Um, are we doing a free gift for this one? Uh, yeah, we can. By the way, isn't this frame so weird? That's so we're too low. <laughs> we're too low. <laughs> He's obsessed about <laughs> where we're placed in this thing. Well, I get, like, when we edit these videos, it's like, oh, like, okay, so they're, they're over here somewhere, and it doesn't make any sense. So anyways, we don't have a camera person today. Um, but yeah, we have a free gift, and so if you're dealing with back pain, um, a lot of times these modifications are just the first step, um, but if you want to get rid of it, I, I think you should really take advantage of the gift that we have. It's up in the corner. Um, and there's some in the description too. It's the same link, it's just different spots in case you can't find it for some reason, but it should just pop up. Um, this is just the first step, and it, it's a challenging thing when people think they have to work around back pain for the rest of their life, or their back is weak, and so on, and, and that's not the case. So um, if you're wondering what else you should do, and you're thinking about emailing us, you can certainly email us and comment below. However, um, we're gonna tell you to do that because um, that's one of the best things to do. If you wanna work with us one-on-one -on -one or, or have a custom plan, we can do that as well, like Don said. Um, but if you're not really to that point yet and you wanna explore a little bit more of the free stuff that we have, again, all the stuff on YouTube is there, but also too, that is the best thing to get, get it. All right, we'll see you guys next week. Subscribe, like, and share.